So okay. So if you want to create a, uh, if you want if you are planning for any Salesforce exam, just you can use this URL. So once you open this URL, you can see login and password. If already you are having account, you can use login and password. In case if you are completely new to the this uh, uh, exam, then what you can do, you have to create a this create a new web SSL login. Okay. Just click on this create new web SSL login. Okay. So here you can give any email address. For example, if I want to create a, on my name, so what I can do is I can just give any name example, Ramesh at the rate of gmail.com. Okay, your email address, it should be in the email for format. You know, need to give exact email. You can it be any email format you should give. Okay. And password. So password, you should follow all these like things. Whatever is something is there, you can just follow all these things. Okay, here you can give the first name. How it is uh, like a displaying in your uh, any uh, identity card? You can give that first name, last name, email address, your personal Gmail. You can give anything here. Okay, your phone number and your address. All these things you can give here. This is basic information only. You can enter all these things. Okay, and uh, here some important fields are there, like a company name. Currently, you are working any company. You can give company name. Otherwise, you can give any normal, uh, like any name. Maybe you can give Salesforce. If you are not working, you can give any default name also. Or like, if you are working really in any company, you can give that company name also. It is fine. And this is very important. Your name, how you want to display your name in your certification is, for example, I want to display my name is, okay, Prabhas Raju. So I can give this name. How you want to display, you can give that form, that, that exact name here. Are you a Salesforce employee or customer or partner? Normally, we are all like employees, right? You can choose an employee. Verification opt-in. What is this verification opt-in? In, in case outside people, right? For example, you are giving any interview. They, they, are, they are asking like, are you having any Salesforce exam or certification, admin PD1? You are saying yes, right? But how they will identify you are having or not? They will check, right? To check that thing, you can should enable a yes so that if you give your email ID or your name, they can search directly in a, here. Like um, verify Salesforce certification. Just you can just type this one. If my settings on there. So this is very important. So just you can click on uh, verification. So for example, you can give your email ID here, web access email, whatever the email ID you are giving, right? That web access email also you can check with that so that you will get an email or you can search here only. Here only it will display anything you can. For example, I'll check with my name. For example, my email ID is varaprasad4sfdc at the rate of gmail.com. Right. If you just enter your Gmail, whatever the email you are giving, right? At the time of a booking exam here, you can give email already, right? Whatever the email address you are giving here. So this email you can give so they can search with that email. Click a search. I'm not a robot. So it will display what are all the certifications for a person is having. You can just just they can click it here. They can see all the certifications, whatever they have. You can add this to your LinkedIn or you can print it or you can add it to wherever you want. Okay, so, so that's why you have to, if you see that option, you want to, uh, if anyone want to verify, you can just make it a S. It is mandatory, you can enable so that other people can check. So mainly you are uh, like working in which sector, so you can make it private. That's it. <laughs> this is the important fields. Like you can give any name here, not uh, like an exact Gmail, but you, it is better if you, whatever the Gmail you are using for your Salesforce. For example, already everyone is having trailer account, right? Maybe I have on my trailer account like uh, Varaprasad Trailhead Salesforce at the rate of salesforce.com. Right? Varaprasad Trailhead at uh, gmail.com. So I can use same email at uh, here and here everywhere. Varaprasad Trailhead at gmail.com here also. And somewhere here also you should give a email. That email should be had associated with your Salesforce account. I told you that right, everyone create uh, one normal uh, Salesforce account for Trailhead. In that Salesforce account which is, you are using for Trailhead. That 
account that or whatever the email id is there you can give a same email id whatever the trailer account you have that whatever the org you are using that org whatever the mail id is there you can give that email id so better you can give all the places one email id will be good even if you want to make it different you can make it different no problem here you can give trailer account uh, it should be trailer up salesforce account email id in the salesforce account trailer account whatever the your org you are giving email that email you can give why because in the future you have to do any maintenance you will get all those things in the you can do it in the that are only you can change later all these settings whatever you are giving you can do all those settings later for example once you do all those things click save you can get the verification email okay once you get the verification email you can just click on login for example already i have account example i'll just open my email id or password and the password click login so once you log in here you can see the option like a register for an exam you can click on it once you click on register for exam here you can see all the salesforce certifications so like you can do the admin certification click on it click on it here you can see the two options online and on site whatever you want for example already have my admin certification that's why there is no option called register button here i don't have advanced admin certification but i can see register button so online means you can book you can write exam in your home only you can just click a register you can select that date when you want to do exam for example i want to do exam on uh, friday what time i want to do it in a uh, 3:30 pm example i am okay with that click select so once you set the date so here you can see the options actually if you take any most of the salesforce exams have a price equals to 200 dollars 200 dollars and approximately it will be 16 or 17000 in inr currency okay you should pay that amount but currently in the market you can get some coupons actually this month also we have some coupons uh, 140 dollars coupons is running in the market that will expire like a, this this month if anyone is planning you can use that coupon and they can apply that click a submit so you will get a discount after discount uh, maybe 140 you will have to pay 6000 something amount 6 or 7000 65 something like that so then click a check out then your exam will confirm so that after like a 2 3 minutes you will get a email notification and you can check in the my assessment also whatever the exam you booked for that exam also you can check in the my assessment it will show in the here my assessment here you can see the scheduled exams okay that is one online other one is option called on site what is on site is in case if you want to go to the exam center you want to write exam for example administrator choose advanced administrator if i'll choose on site so on site means you can if you are in any city like a major city like hyderabad bangalore anything you can select the country and state for example i'm setting telangana click a search in telangana you can see all these are like a exam centers you can go or directly you can write exam for example i want to write a salesforce exam on uh, which is which is nearby your location so you can select it click select then again same settings day to time all those are, remain things are common time and you can select the thing and coupon apply the exam so like this you can create account you can apply the exams okay even if you want to do any changes in the your account also you can change if you click edit profile so whatever the details i told you right initially given your email address or plus login email address first name last name phone number your address email address associated to the salesforce account my i am using this uh, email for my salesforce trailed also so that's why i'm giving common email for every everything so it will be easy so that i can i will not never forget like which company you are working all those things also you can do it clear everyone how we can do book exam how we can verify your certification and all how to register exam yes sir so certification compulsory yeah everyone should have a certification it is mandatory in that otherwise people will not know like you are a salesforce developer or not working or not right that's why 